This is the story about a rural family during the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, I need to go. I need to find a new job in these factories. Uh, I feel like I'm not being paid enough for like how much I'm working. I'm working so many hours. I might need to split up and uh, like find a new new opportunity somewhere else. This isn't cutting it. I also probably need to get a job since we're not making enough money. Yeah. The dear child died already as a result of exploitation of child labor during his 20 hours work shift. I think I found something suitable. Um, it's at a textile mill. It pays $8 a week. Hmm. Let me look at our finances. Yeah, that should hold us over for now. Unbeknownst to the family, the situation worsened as the mother found out that the factory only wants to pay her $3 a week. The father is being paid $12 a week. However, he has to work 18 hours every day. This is ridiculous. I never see you anymore because of that new job you picked up just because we needed to get the money. Yeah, I know. This is ridiculous. I've had enough. The family decided to stand up against the filthy capitalists after reading Karl Marx's communist manifestos through countless protests and strikes. In the end, capitalism fall and communism rise along with the socialism movement.